This short video will show you how to use Greenfoot in the lab without having permission to install software. What you want to do is go to greenfoot.org and to the downloads page. And the one that we're going to use here is this pure Java file. So click that and save it. You only need it the one time to do the install. And then locate the file, which I've already uh, done here. So once I open it up, it's going to ask you where you want to do the install. And you should do it to your own profile. That way you know it'll be there next time when you want to uh, get it up and running. And it's going to ask you then where the Java development kit is, the Java directory. So I'll show you where that is here in our labs. Um, you're going to go to the C drive to get there. And on the local disk then you're going to go to program files and Java. And the one we want is the JDK folder. So you may not have the same version as 1.7015, but it's the JDK that matters. So that's where I'm going to say choose that one. And then I can just have Greenfoot do an install for me. So maybe I'll just pause here so you don't have to wait for my install to happen. And there we go, mine's finished. So this is the message you're going to get when you're done, is it just says to run it, execute Greenfoot. So there's a couple ways you can do it, but I'll show you the simplest one. So you just hit done here, and then it's going to have done the install. It should be completely contained in this directory. So again, once you log in next time, it should appear. And the nice thing is you can see it's only 9 megabytes as opposed to the standalone version, which I believe is close to 200. So when we go into Greenfoot, this little batch file, you don't need to run a command for Greenfoot. All you need to do is run that batch file. And what's going to happen is you get this problem here, and that's what I have to show you how to fix. You get all these null pointer exceptions and problems. So we just close it and say that we know it didn't work. And I have to open this up in Notepad. So um, what you can do is just go to Accessories here, and then take the Notepad application, and then drag that batch file into it like this. And then it shows you the, the code that's in there. So this is essentially like code that Windows would execute for you. And the problem is one that's familiar to us. It's the, this problem here is we've got a network directory that we really didn't mean to use. So there's a quick and easy fix for it. Rather than use the network, I'm actually just going to use what should be H drive for us. Um, so just by making that one fix, I'll save it. And now, again, you have to change that network directory to be just the local H drive. That's the one big change you have to make there. So now if I close this and I double click it, now I get Greenfoot up and running and it should start so that I can start using it in my programs from now on. So you only need to make that edit one time. After that it should just from now on, there we go, that's Greenfoot, I'm able to start using it and programming with it, I'll close it. From now on you should just be able to double click, you don't have to do the edit once you've done it and saved it the first time.